Welcome to Filmatic. I am your host, the Film Doctor. Oh my God! What what is this? What? And the Film Surgeon. And we are back in the attic, guys, with another hot TV show to dissect. Are we in the attic? The operating room, I guess. You got me there. We're in the operating room, guys. With another hot TV show on the table. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier just dropped from uh, Disney Plus. And uh, Disney, <laughs> you know what to do. Go ahead and hit us with that sponsorship. And as always, let's jump right into our film review. Um, So I watched it. I already know kind of you're, you're upset because it's one episode, not the full thing. So let's just get that on the table. I'm, stay yep, stay, let stay me with the time. Through. Let me go ahead and complain about that again. No, no, take, 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 take your three minutes and go ahead and complain about it. Go ahead. <laughs> this is streaming. Uh, this is not uh, TV, but, you know, it is what it is. I've accepted my fate. So, you know, for the first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm impressed. Way more impressed than I was with WandaVision. What? Yeah, I like it better than WandaVision. Uh, the pro the mute my mic. Well, uh, are, we talking about, are we talking about just the first episode of this compared to the first episode? Yeah, just the first episode of this oh, compared okay, to the first okay. episode of WandaVision. Oh, this is, this oh, is clearly okay. better. I thought you were talking about the whole thing. I was like, oh, okay, well, you're... I have to see the whole thing to compare the whole thing. But first episode of WandaVision versus first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier. I got you know, I've talked to a lot of friends of mine who actually were like, they loved the first episode of WandaVision. I loved it. I'm glad they enjoyed it. I did not. <laughs> um, um, yeah, this was so we get a little bit of backstory as to what's happened with Bucky and Sam since the last time we've seen them. Um, and it's kind of this episode is kind of just laying the foundation. Yeah, but I think that there is too much foreshadowing. Like I, I pretty much already know everything that's gonna happen in this entire but do you though i do but do you though see I I, do. everybody i want you to go ahead uh mark this mark this down Let, pause your video right now write this down that he said this and when we come back at the end of our reviewing these episodes i want you to go ahead put it in the comment section the last review he didn't know uh, he didn't uh, know. okay first of all yeah, go ahead write it write it first, down. first of all first of all <laughs> Uh, I'm not worried about anybody putting anything in the comments section, number one. Uh, and if it is, it's uh, it's a direction to uh, to a porn site. So uh, <laughs> that's all I'm worried about. Uh, number two is that um, my overview on it is that yes, it is a, a good episode, but I think it gives you too much. It tells too much of a story. That was the difference between this and side of the other one because it didn't tell you shit. But I can't, I complained about not getting anything and now I'm <laughs> complaining about getting too much. Where is that happy medium? Um, I, I'm happy with the action. I'm happy that it was longer of like a, an hour, 45 minutes long, and then 15 minute credits, you know, 10 minutes credits or whatever. Again, we still don't need 15 to 10 minute credits, Marvel. You just Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I already know, and I, I so want to have a spoiler until like what I think is gonna happen. That way they can write it down, pause the video <laughs> and write it down. That could probably happen because I guarantee you everything that I would say in terms of what's gonna happen, I guarantee it's gonna happen. Happen. Because uh, they told me enough. I'm good at just for sure. You know how when you go and see a movie and you're like, told oh, you. so and so is gonna die, and then they die. Oh, so and so, this is gonna happen. Well, I'm telling know. you right now. I already know what this entire episode. I could. Entire season we can. Done. We can cut a spoiler section of this, but just the the non the non spoiler section is. I think this is a good episode. I liked the cinematography was really good. The that, again, the acting is the acting. Am I super impressed? Absolutely not. Um, you know. And I always hate to say that because you would expect that those act, those great acting come from like dramas. 
and so you have like these superhero movies or a comedy yeah. can you really analyze somebody's acting and say the acting is good but the whole thing is that they have characters that they're portraying so at the end of the day did they portray those the best it's no different from looking at like the batman jokers somebody portrayed joker the best and someone didn't do it the best so looking at like falcon i know nobody has ever played falcon besides falcon and no one's ever played winter soldier besides winter soldier but did they have a performance that stood out for those characters they played the characters i mean they're known for those characters now at this point we've seen their faces in those characters a bunch of times i felt like i was just watching sam i was watching falcon i was watching bucky i was watching the winter soldier i mean it, it's it they it's not like they need to reinvent themselves they've played that character did they do a bad job no but they're good at playing that character and that's can i complain about something what okay this is kind of a spoiler okay yeah i just i, I don't like how we're gonna focus on like bucky or not bucky uh falcon trying to get his ebt card and shit like uh, why like do we really ebt card it's what sarcasm it's sarcasm you know what i mean from watching the actual episode of what i'm at. i'm just making a joke but do we really need that part of his life well in it's it's tying to the larger story and i think that's not honest. tying to shit if you're telling me that it you is because out, you know what let's go ahead let's Snyder go. cut you can cut this shit out of out of falcon and winter soldier let's let's go ahead and uh this is a spoiler section people there will be a big spoiler All time right, everyone pause your video but... <laughs> write this down that he said this this will be a that big this spoiler was, that this was needed right pause your video and write this down everyone put it in the comment section down below <laughs> That he said that this was needed for the whole EBT poverty yeah, let's, kind let's of go thing. ahead and put just put that spoiler right up the top. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, Sam goes to get along with his sister to keep the keep their family boat and their family house kind of consolidated. Oh, we are spoiling it. Oh get shit, some, Maybe get I'm, some money. We're and ready, so, okay. <laughs> and so that ties into them replacing him, who is supposed to be Captain America. Captain America chose him to replace him. He didn't take the mantle, obviously, but um, they've replaced him now with another white man. Uh, and so- Yes, it, who is that white man? <laughs> who is that? I, no I, one, I no mean, one knows who that is. You can't end that episode with that, because I was like, maybe I should rewind it and see if I know that white man. I don't know that white man, who is that? <laughs> so, so yeah, that is that is how it ties into the storyline. It, it, it's kind of, uh, they're trying to make social justice statements, and Disney has done this before. And I, you know, while I may agree with some and disagree with others, they really should start trying to stray away from that. Um, just because people are, you know, I don't think it's gonna hurt their pockets at all, but if they don't want an army of people commenting, oh, why are we, why do we need to see the black people have a hard time getting loans? Uh, or EBT cards. Or no, <laughs> why? Why do we gotta see? Well, they don't. People that think like that don't think we have a hard time getting EBT cards. Um, <laughs> why <Hi>. do? <laughs> why do? Why do? Uh, why is it a problem that the Captain America is still white and it's not uh, Sam? They was right, complaining right, right. about Black Spider-Man. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, it, it kind of ties into that whole angle that they're playing there. So I think it was useful in that front. And just, it's kind of laying some background. I don't think we know everything in this. I think, you know, we kind of got a glimpse of who the who the real villain is. Um, I think there is a lot of foreshadowing here. I will give you that. <laughs> There's a lot of foreshadowing. You think? you think? Like the fact that the villain is basically a Winter Soldier. <laughs> I mean, they just kind of gave that away. Well, 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 there shit, was no are, if, there. If, this is, if this is a whole spoiling thing kind of thing, which in, in all honesty, if, if we're in the operating table and we're going deep in and we're making cuts, this should be a spoiler kind of show anyway. We're delving deep in. Some of those spoilers, I'm going to say right now, you can already tell that the story, even from the first couple of minutes in, that it's about soul searching uh, for for uh, Falcon to become the new Captain America. You damn sure can confirm that by the end of it. Um, <laughs> you, you, you damn sure are on the end. That's why the whole EBT, poverty, let's go get a loan kind of bullshit. Like, it makes no sense. Let, let, let's just focus this at, on the story at hand. And it's also about building him up. Like, if they just gave him the shield and made him Captain America no people he's not ready you have to tell the story of him getting to that point of earning it and right. that's where he'll get the respect as the black or new Captain America and so therefore that's what this whole shit's about now we're connecting it to Bucky 
obviously he killed old boy and he's trying to relive uh and not relive but um make peace with the fact that he did that with the guy's father and everything and so that's the demon that he's fighting they're both fighting demons that they're trying to uh uh you know come bucky's overcome and everything i don't i don't know where they're going with bucky there's less foreshadowing i'm telling you right now that's where they're going well with that's it. making peace with his dad is like one thing like making peace yes, with his past yes, is but he's thing. also he also is dealing with the history of the fact that he was the winter soldier that he he's trying to recover from that that was the whole therapy thing you know he's trying to overcome the wrongs that he made back when he was the winter soldier yeah i don't think that's his character arc though they i i think that they have a surprise the, the surprise is not in falcon i think the surprise is in bucky i'm interested to see where they go with him um well there has to be a new storyline because they're going to connect we've only seen their storyline separately they're going to come together for something whether it's these russian well we know we know what they're going to come together for to fight these new winter soldiers that are being made um they kind of gave that away as well uh <laughs> they, they weren't really hiding a lot but they were hiding some things i think <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, it's played as day what they're doing with if that. If they go like, any other direction than what we've described, I'd be shocked. Otherwise, I think that they foreshadow. Well, we, the if they do that, we've wasted an episode. Everything. They wasted an episode of foreshadowing the whole thing. Yeah, but they wasted four episodes in WandaVision. So, obviously. They did. They burned How, how can you do it? Right? <laughs> you know yeah. All in all, what's your, what's your grade for this? My grade for this uh, is going to be... A B plus. B, I'm teetering on B plus, A minus, just because. I'm glad you're not a teacher. Jeez, you it's a good. It hard. It, I'll give it an A minus. A A minus. It, it's a good start, but you know, and there's a lot of foreshadowing, and they're trying to tell us to do the opposite of what they did with WandaVision. But is it an A plus? No. Is it an A? No. It's it's a good first episode. It's a good you know good something to get your appetite wet. But you know me, I'm an entree and a dessert guy, and you know until I get the rest of these episodes. I, I don't know. Did you just say you're an entree and dessert guy? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, I for my rating, I think that I would give it a a minus. So you hassle me over a, a minus slash B plus. No, I you give it the same grade. <laughs> I feel. I th- and, and maybe it's because of WandaVision. Looking at WandaVision in those first few episodes and the fact that this had action and story where I wasn't lost. Like I said, I can't complain on not too much and then now I'm complaining about too much. I think that uh, I'm content with it. I think that uh, the cliffhanger should not have been with the, the random white guy that nobody <laughs> freaking knows. Like there, there could have been a bigger cliffhanger. And, and if the, he has an importance is that they really need to tell that story in this entire series. So... Yeah. That's my overall review of it. That's all that we have here at the operating table on the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Hit that bell, email, do all that jazz. Tie up or rope to a pigeon's leg. Send it on its way. Let us know what you guys think, especially inside of the comments. And as always, this has been another exciting episode of Film Matter.